Hi, and welcome to a new Decred bi-weekly news update. I'm your host, Exodus, and I'm happy to say, despite it being summer, there is a ton going on within the Decred project. Lots of development and lots of community updates. So let's get into it. Decred's Rosetta middleware implementation has been released. Rosetta, released by Coinbase, is an open source specification and set of tools that makes integrating with blockchain simpler, faster, and more reliable. Rosetta makes it easier to build cross-blockchain applications such as block explorers, wallets, and dApps. Write less monotonous code and build more apps. Now let's take a look at other development updates. A Lightning Network data backup page has been added on Decred Docs. Very important for those testing the Decred Lightning Network to prevent fun loss. The Decred DEX seems poised for a limited initial release that supports mainnet DEXing. Lots of things have been added like client command line commands, client browser UI for adding additional DEX servers, client browser UI widget to show balances, among many other additions. ChapJC says the mainnet beta will be this summer, so be tuned for that. DCR pool version 1.1.0 has been released. It includes many bug fixes and improvements, such as a UI refresh and reworked payments processing, among others. Looking at Decrediton, work continues towards integrating CoinShuffle++, Decred's privacy system. Multiple outstanding Lightning Network payments are now allowed. They unified the processing of regular and state transactions. There is now a view showing configured VSPs and UI tweaks and bug fixes. On Polite, there is better caching of vote results, lazy loading of comment votes to benefit from the fact that old proposals are rarely accessed, increased test coverage of the new RFP code, a permanent logout feature that deletes user identity, and drafts from the browser. This change also removes the use of email as a storage key to have less personal data in a browser's local storage. Changes were made to prevent commenting and proposal submission during the anchoring process, and lots of backend and UI bug fixes. The core functionality of VSPD, Decred's upcoming new voting service provider software that doesn't require an account is complete, with developers in the process of thoroughly testing and shaking out edge cases with mixed and unmixed tickets. VSPD has been used to vote on tens of thousands of testnet tickets at this point. GoDCR is in the works. GoDCR is an emerging cross-platform desktop SPV wallet for Decred built with Geo, an immediate mode graphical user interface toolkit written in Go. This makes the whole application built purely with Go with no web browser or JavaScript in it. Next steps are releasing a publicly available demo build with basic wallet functionality and integrating the new VSPD staking. For a more complete list of development details, I would recommend reading through and following the Decred Journal on Medium.com. This is seriously the best source for keeping up with all the nitty gritty dev updates. There was a ton of media and content produced by the community. A few different Decred artists have appeared on Twitter creating unique art to help boost the Decred brand. Community member Cryptos has even created his own Instagram page to show off his Decred-related art. Decred researcher Perma Bolnino released two mini publications exploring the market cap, realized cap ratio, and HODL power. These are great resources for anyone really looking to explore the metrics of the Decred chain. He concludes by saying Bitcoin and Decred have high signal, yet different behaving realized caps as a function of their respective blockchain mechanics. The goal of this piece was to help highlight some of these differences and how it plays out on the price charts. A game titled Stakey Jump has been released. While it's only a simple platformer, hopefully it will inspire more Decred themed games for the community to enjoy. Decred is no longer listed as a fork of Bitcoin on CoinMarketCap. A proper, community approved description is now in place. Decred is now listed on Novadax, a top three exchange in Brazil with four pairs available, including Brazil's fiat currency, the Brazilian Real. In June, the Treasury received 12,629 DCR and spent 8,340 DCR. Using June's daily average rate of $16.05, this is $203,000 received and $134,000 spent. The current treasury balance is 637,791 DCR, which is 9.94 million US dollars. Most projects are not transparent with their expenditures. However, privacy coin Zcash recently revealed some of its Q4 expenditures, which said for the fourth quarter, they realized approximately $710,000 a month in operating expenses, which is roughly three times higher than Decred's recent monthly expenditures, showing just how efficient the Decred project is in terms of work completed on a cost basis. Furthermore, it was revealed that more than 75 companies in the blockchain and cryptocurrency industry collected at least $30 million in payroll loans from the US government via the Paycheck Protection Program. The Decred project was not on this list as it gets its funding from its own block reward, and of course, stakeholders would never request aid from the rig system that they are trying to improve upon. 
Speaking of funding, Decred Australia put together a Decred webinar titled Sociology, the Future of Work and Incentive Alignment. This webinar focuses on the sociological frameworks in play when building a DAO and what it means to the future of work and its implementations to managing and coordinating people. In Decred's case, 10% of all of those rewards are going into a, a fund that's then available to pay the people who work on the open source uh, aspects of the project mostly it's it's like we're working for we, we're literally working now for an autonomous digital entity not not particularly one person or a ceo or a board of directors per se it's it's interesting not using paid media to kind of market the project which aligns really well with the constitution with building kind of a fairer financial system, not with, with not using sort of surveillance capitalism tools with Google and Facebook. It's probably gonna be alive uh, in years to come because it has all the necessary elements for, for it to grow. Um, the treasury, uh, but also the community, uh, the interest, the passion that I, that, that I see in many of the contributors of the project. Um, it really talks about something that is, is set to, to, keep up, to keep on growing and keep, keep on evolving over time. Really amazing discussion. Be sure to check it out. The YouTube channel Decred Society created a number of videos talking about Decred. The reason a lot of projects have gone down this treasury route is really, really simple. It's to have the ability of being self-sovereign so that you don't have to rely on outs outside influences for your project to move forward. You're not relying on funding from external influences, which means that these external influences can't drive the project to fulfill their own self gains, um, which is so often the case. If you look at the top 100 and you really dig deep into how they're funded and, and, and what's pushing the project forward, you, you're normally gonna find some external funder there that's just, just pumping the project like crazy. Whenever you're looking into this stuff, just be very aware of that. And, and I would always say, you know, find out what the project's all about. And as you know from previous videos, that 21 million is so important to me and making sure there's an open ledger so that you can check the data, check what's actually happening and then do your research. You know, who's driving this project forward and why are they driving it forward? Decred Latin America was very busy this month producing content and joining in on webinars. Elian was with Legal Hackers Colombia to discuss different topics of interest in the fintech and legal industry. He was also on the Bitcoin Embassy Bar YouTube channel talking about crypto scams and on the Cryptographic Friday panel on blockchain governance of Decred and Dash. Pablito hosted an introduction to Git and GitHub webinar in Spanish on the Decred Latin America YouTube channel. This is part of the new strategy to create developer-oriented content. Decred Latin America has published their work completed since the approval of their second proposal on GitHub for the community to explore. There were two new podcasts released, one featuring Decred researcher Amaruni on the eighth episode of Rough Consensus. But the lack of governance of, of Bitcoin in the long run, in my opinion, is, is actually uh, a flaw. And, and, you know, there's a difference between economic malleability and technological malleability. And we need to accept the fact that Bitcoin is, is actually a software as well. So you can guess 21 million it is great. You know, it's a scarce supply. But we need to be able to understand that yeah, over time, there will be there will be potentially needs for, for technological upgrades. Digital software needs updates you know we're not talking about now we're talking about you know 10 years 20 years 30 years 40 years 50 years from now there's never going to be a need for an upgrade yes there will be and and so what are the criteria upon which people can agree upon and as as you start to think of you know if there's uh, a larger group of people you know billions and billions of people that are using digital currencies like bitcoin you know what criteria will they use uh, they, they need to have some sort of dispute resolution and 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 you know they need to have some voice in the physical world we can at least vote for our politicians vote them out if or, or protest uh, if, if we don't like what they're doing what did they do in the digital world and they need some sort of a representation of voice and combination of, of that economic scarcity as well as understanding of an allocation for voice that's what makes me most excited about decred in particular and on decred in depth project lead jake yokampaya was on to talk about the rigged game and how cryptocurrencies like Decred are a better alternative than current broken systems. But when you start to have a closer look at how the Federal Reserve operates and how it's, you know, how it's all put together, and you know, it becomes clear that that the system is very much rigged. I mean, the first the first problem is it's run by a central planning committee, and this has been a long-standing complaint of mine about the Bitcoin community, which is that. 
there's no form in the lack of a formal sovereignty mechanism that that you know is accessible by the average person you're pretty much stuck with a central planning committee almost every large important human organization to date on planet earth has been based on a central planning committee where there's a handful of people who know how the system works and everybody else is a is basically an is irrelevant that is that the system is run by some hand-picked people, and that's it. Everybody else can go suck an egg. The, the cryptocurrency system, is, you know, cryptocurrencies have a big leg up on central banks um, and the whole and fiat systems just from you know just by that merit. That is that if you can't rig the issuance and the you know the issuance process, the credit issuance process, then then you know a lot of the problems with the system you know fade fade away. The treasury being de decentralized is really a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's really a, um, a centerpiece of the project, and we've been working towards it for years now. So once that's done, we can start to move on to some more interesting, uh, you know, applications. Um, once we've decentralized that. Completely top-notch discussions going on. Guys, do not miss these podcasts and webinars. I can't really do them full justice by just pulling out clips. So I urge you to check out these full episodes for yourself. Furthermore, Jake published a blog post on Decred.org detailing how the Federal Reserve and central banks are a rigged system holding back society. In the conclusion, he says that he will follow up with another blog post discussing how Bitcoin is the first major step into a fairer financial system. Mon PR was able to secure Decred in a few different media publications. Forbes published an article talking about Bitcoin price volatility being low and then asking experts their opinion. Jaco Kampai at Project Lee for Decred weighed in, stating that Bitcoin prices will surely rise as a result of the halving supply shock, but it is always a question of when. He says miners that are struggling financially due to the halving will capitulate and the mining market will consolidate further, likely leading to less selling from the miners that remain. Jake has been featured in Cointelegraph talking about rumors PayPal could be accepting crypto soon. He says PayPal specifically is notorious for depriving its users of access to legitimately acquired funds on their platform with little to no justification. Users having their funds restricted in this fashion is something cryptocurrencies are designed to prevent. Making this integration, if it is indeed in progress, an odd combination. On Politea, we had one proposal finish voting. The content production for Decred and Russian proposal failed for a second time with 35% voter approval with a 21% voter turnout. Mon PR has published a phase two proposal to continue public relations services in order to help expand awareness of the Decred project by securing presence in online media articles. Last phase saw 34 articles secured, syndicated to 142 publications across 24 countries. Articles have been secured in leading crypto publications such as Cointelegraph and Coindesk, in addition to several mainstream publications including the New York Times, Reuters, Forbes, Business Insider, and Zero Hedge. The requested budget remains the same as the first phase, payable in Decred. If you have any questions, please sign up to Politea by visiting proposals.decred.org. There was a proposal submitted requesting a name change to Decred, however, it was never authorized as it had no plan for implementation or a budget. The suggested rename was Bitcoin Evolution. A large Reddit thread was created to discuss changing the branding, though general community sentiment is that it would require too much effort to implement, with the outcome being difficult to predict, thus making it a poor idea. Thanks for tuning into this week's bi-weekly news update. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any news and be sure to check out Decred.org so you don't miss any updates. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.